Good morning, Scorpio and Cross Watchers. This is Mel with Blue Scorpion Tarot. Here to bring you another reading for the channel. I just woke up about an hour ago. I have a full day ahead of me. So, this reading will be for the day commencing Tuesday, February 2nd, 2021. Happy Groundhog Day. Will the groundhog see its shadow? No, that's not what I'm doing the reading on. <laughs> Main subject matter is about Mercury retrograde in the sign of Aquarius. How can we be more prepared? What should we know that is coming in our direction for us Scorpios? Okay, so let's go ahead and dive into the reading. Calling upon the trusted ancestors of my Scorpio viewers and my Scorpio subscribers and also calling in the power of planet Mercury and the sign of Aquarius to bring us the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth through the power of the numbers. And so it is on this Mercury retrograde in the sign of Aquarius. Let's see what's going on. <clears throat> Well, we got the power of number nine. <clears throat> Cannot clear my throat for the life of me. I'm so tired. Number 12. So I'm going to take the one out of the 12, add it to the nine. That brings me to the number 91. Add the two. And the number 10. Okay. Wow, this is crazy, 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 crazy. Last night in last night's reading, I had the power of number 103. And the numbers are coming back up again. 103. I've never in my entire life as a reader, and as long as I've been working with the dice, seen the same number come up. It's very rare. 103. Some of you could be dealing with a Libra that was born on October 3rd. That's what I'm picking up. Some of you guys are seeing the number 1010 on your clocks or repetitive numbers. But mostly the, what I'm picking up from the numbers that I have written down is 1010. Or you could be dealing with a Libra that was born not only on October 3rd, maybe October 10th, October 2nd, October 1st, October 9th. For some of you, you could be dealing with a Virgo that was born on the 1st or the 2nd or the 10th or the 3rd or the 13th. Same for Libra. You could be dealing with a Libra that was born on October 13th. Some of you are dealing with that Virgo energy on the cusp line into Libra season with September 21st or September 20th, September 19th. You could be dealing with a Capricorn or an Aquarius throughout the month of January. I have the power of number two. Some of you are dealing with an Aquarius or a Pisces throughout the month of February. Could be dealing with an Aries or a Pisces throughout the month of March. Or somebody has a mother figure again. This energy coming up again with these mother figures. Could be dealing with an Aries, a Pisces, a Libra, or a Taurus mother figure to be more specific. Some of you met your person in 1991 or 1992 or 1990. Or you were born in 1990, 1991, 1992, or 1993. Some of you Scorpios were born at the latter part of October. Some of you could have graduated in 1990, 1991, 1992, or 1993. You could have a one-year-old, a two-year-old, a newborn, I'm picking up. A three-year-old, a nine-year-old, or a ten-year-old, or a thirteen-year-old, 
an 11 year old, a 12 year old. Wow, a lot of number combinations, a lot of variables. Some of you could have been with your person for a year, two years, up to 10 years, three years, nine years, or months, could be months. Some of you have recently just met somebody new, or you're gonna be meeting somebody new. Some of you might have a 21-year-old daughter. I'm picking up a 21-year-old daughter. Somebody might have a child that's off to college right now. Okay. And seeing the word stop. Over the numbers for the moment. We're going to go to the power of number 103. Like I said, last night, 103 came up last night too, but it was about walking away. Either you, Scorpio, or your person that you love the most, they've got to walk away from toxic influences, toxic people, toxic family members in order to repair or rebuild or grow, to regrow the situation again, and to start slow. We'll see what the power of 103 is bringing in again, but we're focusing in on, again, the energy of Mercury retrograde in the sign of Aquarius, okay? <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Eh, thirteen. Look what wanted to pop out. Sign of Aquarius coming through the star card. there's a troublemaker queen of wands <clears throat> 86 87 88 89 upon the planet Mercury and the sign of Aquarius for us Scorpios. What do we need to know for the next three weeks, please? While we're in this retrograde, what is headed in our direction, please? Okay. There's some kind of wish fulfillment. It could be the reward, maybe, for being patient during the retrograde. Possibly there's some kind of wish fulfillment or there's a water sign that could be headed in your direction, Scorpio, if you're dealing with a water sign. What I'm hearing is keep focusing in on the end game, the end result. Maybe, you know, in truth, it appears that Mercury is going backwards, but in reality, it's all the other planets that are speeding up. Okay, so it appears that Mercury is going backwards. And granted, yeah, I do believe that, you know, follow some of the basic golden rules of when Mercury retrograde is happening. 
because it is about communication. It is about speeding up the process. But see, it appears, like I said, it appears that Mercury is going backwards and it's going slow. It's really all of us other planets that are speeding up faster. Okay, so that's the reason why. It's an illusion. You have to remember something. The planet Mercury is about the god Hermes. Hermes was a trickster, okay, and also a communicator. Mercury can help you to think outside the box. It's almost like the Riddler from Batman. Riddle me this. It's kind of That's kind of how Mercury is in some regard. But Mercury can also help you with your communication. The best day to do manifestation work, like if you're trying to vocalize something, um, if you're talking or communicating with family members, try to do it in the hour of Mercury so that things actually go better in your conversations, whether it be with family members, if you're in a partnership. Um, I always recommend downloading... A planetary app okay so just so that you can get the planetary hours and anytime you know that you have to go on the phone if you can wait until the hour of mercury I'm telling you your conversations are going to go so much better there is something here about wish fulfillment during this mercury retrograde one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Magician energy, sign of Gemini. There's a new beginning that is trying to happen here. Somebody want, I just heard Michael Jackson and the Jackson 5. I want you back. Big time. I just heard it very strong, crystal clear. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles, look at you guys. There's, okay. Somebody is trying to take all the tools and the resources to manifest. You can use Mercury Retrograde to your best advantage, you guys. You can control and manipulate energy if you have to. You just have to remain focused. That's what the magician is, remaining focused. Planet Mercury and the sign of Aquarius want you to remain <clears throat> very focused in your intentions. Don't make any big purchases right now. Be very frugal over the next two and a half weeks. Because by the end of this week, because it's Tuesday, so by the Friday, we'll be through that first week of the three weeks of the retrograde. Okay. If you're going to shop, make very minimal, small purchases. Do not make big purchases. Do not sign contracts or get things, you know, sign things on the dotted line. Don't go purchase a new car right now. Don't do it. Don't book your airline tickets right now. Okay? There's something better. There's something better that is on the way here. Major wish fulfillment, Ten of Pentacles, and the Magician. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Blast from the past energy, Six of Cups. Somebody from the past, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Energy. I also got Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Somebody, yeah, it is known. It is known that during a Mercury retrograde, if, if sometimes people from your past do return. They will reach out unexpectedly. And yeah, they say that there, you know, there's like taboo and so forth, you know, when people return back during a Mercury retrograde. But again, you can use... You can be the magician and manipulate the energy the way that you need to. It's your mental. It's your mental manifestations. 
Some of you are already manifesting for somebody from the past to return back to you. When they return and they come forward, go slow. Go slow. Because you're going to get wish fulfillment. A lot of you can make this <clears throat> connection that you have with this person from the past. You can make it last. You can make it work past the Mercury retrograde. But you got to remain focused. You can't get all right away, all lovey, lovey, wwww -wee 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 energy right away. Okay? Go very slow. Re I feel like this, again, it's rebuilding. Rebuilding a relationship here. It's not over the top negative, these cards. Okay? Someone misses you, Scorpio. They want to be with you. They want to see you face to face. This is soulmate twin flame energy. Work with planet Mercury to help you get over the hurdles. Take that energy. Harness that energy. Learn about planet Mercury. Listen to, have you ever listened to the sounds from NASA of the planets? You want to raise frequency. Listen to the sounds of each individual planet. I do it all the time. It helps me to raise frequency. It helps me to feel more energetically connected with those planets and to understand them better. Somebody from the past is wanting to return, without a doubt. Message from the Magician. Fate and destiny is on the way. And also what goes around comes around. What goes around comes around is somebody from the past returning. Your person, <clears throat> Scorpio, or maybe you have the letter T, the letter A, the letter R, or the letter O within your name. Some of you guys are dealing with a fixed sign, Aquarius, a Leo, a Taurus, or another Scorpio such as yourself. The energy and the power of Lady Fortuna coming in to play here. This is a really, at this point, it's about the wheel turning to the right. You can take this energy. I'm just meditating right now. You could take this energy. I'd start writing some positive affirmations, you guys. And keep your affirmations simple with the universe. Have your intentions, your mental intentions, go past the surface of the earth. You know, the atmosphere of the earth. Go out into the ethers. Take and harness that energy mentally and use it to your greatest advantage because we're only a speck. We're just like a speck among numerous stars, constellations, planets, etc. The Milky Way, the black holes, everything. Space fascinates me. One of my first ambitions... I thought I wanted to be an astronaut. I think it was because I saw the movie Space Camp back in the 80s. And I just thought it was so, you know, wicked cool, you know. And uh, I remember my third grade science project. I did, I did the planets. I made the planets out of the styrofoam balls. Little did I know I was going to become a tarot reader and be working with planetary energy. 
but there's wish fulfillment. The past is returning. There's some going to be some blessings here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Yes, the angels. Some of you guys are dealing with the Sagittarius. Patience, you've got this over the rainbow moment coming, you guys. Mercury retrograde is not, he, he's saying it's not a bad thing. But what can also, just be aware of this too. Try not, if you are with somebody right now, try not to, try not to start any arguments with your person. Because on the bottom of the deck, I just saw this, the three of swords. Breakups, when breakups happen during a Mercury retrograde, they usually end up becoming permanent, you guys. So, a couple variables. Like I said, if you're with somebody, pick and choose your battles wisely right now. Because there's better, there's better energy that is headed in your direction. If you are waiting for somebody to get out of a third-party situation... They could end up going through a breakup, and it's going to be permanent. And then somebody's going to return back. Just something to be aware of. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Somebody's going to have the perseverance... The strength and determination, determination to go the distance here. Somebody's not going to back down from what it is that somebody wants here because somebody here knows that something is fated and destined to be. Bottom of the deck, the two of cups. Some of you are dealing with the Leo. You're going to reconcile with the Leo for some of you. And for others of you, it could be straight up another water sign. It could be any sign. I have all signs represented across the board right now. Okay. Reconciliation. One, two, three, four, five, six. The message from the Six of Cups. How is this person going to return back? Again, starting small. Go slow. Rome wasn't built in a day. And this Seven of Pentacles came up in last night's reading, you guys. Somebody needs to walk away from that freaking chaos. The toxic family members start recognizing when there's toxicity because, again, during this Mercury retrograde, I feel like last night's reading and, and today's reading, this morning's reading, is all kind of coinciding here a bit because here's all of this abundance that is trying to basically overwhelm you guys and bring you your blessings, but until somebody recognizes that they have a toxic mother figure, that they have toxic sisters and brothers, that they have lying, deceptive family members, that they're dealing with a karmic girlfriend and or a karmic boyfriend or somebody is in a toxic marriage that needs to come to an end, etc., 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 then all the good stuff is going to start happening here. I'm telling you, family members can block your abundance. You think that all of your family members have your back. No, they don't. They don't even know that they don't have your back. That's the thing. A lot of your family members are blindsided. They're not spiritually awakened. They don't know shit, basically. A lot of them don't. They're not thinking on the 5D. They don't even recognize, the toxic, the toxic family members don't even recognize, some of them don't, that their energy is blocking other people. So it could be that, you know, oh, grandmama has your best interest at heart, but you don't know if grandmama is talking behind your back as soon as you leave that front door. You like to think that she's all sweet. You know what I'm saying? Some of you are blessed to have solid parents. But if you had parents that broke up your marriage, broke up your relationship, they're not good, you guys. They're evil in some regard. But they don't know they're evil. They're toxic. 
They're selfish, self-serving. Whoops. Self-serving. Spidey sense right there. They're self-serving, these parents. They like to, some of these parents like to brush shit under the rug, you guys. And you guys have some major, you guys got major blessings. A lot of you guys are meant to be married. If marriage is what you want, it's right here, baby. It's right here. The Ten of Pentacles. Ever since I walked away at Christmas time from toxic family members, I'm telling you guys, my abundance has kicked in little by little by little. I'm sleeping better. My abundance, my prosperity is all on its way. Every week I'm getting blessed with something in particular. And it's a difficult decision, you guys. It's a difficult decision to walk away. But what makes anybody think that anybody is going to change? If they, like I said, if your family has ignored you, they don't believe in you, they're not there to be, you know, they're not supportive of you. You know what I'm saying? I have had, and it's just a rarity, but there are no coincidences. I was in conversation with some friends that I have not spoken to in a very long time, and they themselves walked away. I found out one of my uh, close girlfriends walked away from her family, hasn't talked to her mother in three years because of the toxicities. I was like, whoa. And then I have a guy friend of mine that had to walk away uh, from family members and, and completely moved out of town with his girlfriend and their kid. They had, they had to leave. It was, I'm just telling you guys, it's, it's okay to walk away from family. It's okay never to talk to them again. It's energy. That's what it is. It is energy. Just because your blood don't mean, at this point in the ballgame, you guys, doesn't mean shit. You've got somebody here that wants to return. And it could be you've got family members or people surrounding you that are blocking this person from coming forward. So use planet Mercury's energy to the best of your advantage. You can light a candle in honor of Mercury. It's the fastest moving planet. Its orbit around the sun is only 82 days or 88 days. Very fast. What is the wish fulfillment planet Mercury in the sign of Aquarius? What is this major wish fulfillment that Scorpio is going to receive here because of their patience, because of Scorpio being patient, walking away from toxic people? What is the reward here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. What is the reward? Wow. King of Cups. Aquaman. Aquaman, Aquaman. Somebody's getting back up on their throne. Somebody's getting their groove back. Message from the King of Cups. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Four of Pentacles. Some of them are holding back. They're waiting to make the right move here. Or they are saving up their money. Somebody's saving up their money in order to rebuild. Or they could be saving up money to get you a gift. Scorpio. What is the Four of Pentacles? One, two, three, four. They've been spying in on you. That's what they're holding back. They're holding back that they're spying in on you. Prince of Swords, spying in on your social media, trying to check you out, see what's going on before I say they make their move. Message from the Prince of Swords. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 
Some of them are trying to scope out if you're married or not, Scorpio. Okay. Could be trying to research your background. See what else is going on, you know what I'm saying? Some of you guys are going to be getting married. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, some of you guys are definitely going to be getting married. Justice of the peace. It's on its way, you guys. Real commitment. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Then I got to end this. Yeah, could be happening near a full moon cycle. Okay, or you're dealing with a Cancerian or a Pisces. They're also holding back that they're spying in on you, that they do indeed want to marry you. Somebody here is manifesting big time during this Mercury retrograde. Star card, bottom of the deck. Sign of Aquarius. So, if you'd like to book a personal reading and do it through the power of the numbers, you can hit me up at bluescorpiongifts at gmail.com. Until next time, Scorpio, take care.